Welcome back my friend to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day and if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Police Insider. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. Okay, how much you had a drink? None. Okay, you're slurring your speech. You look drunk. No, I haven't had anything to drink. On September 9th, 2023, Florida Dispatch received several 911 calls reporting a male driving a golf cart on the US-1 highway. There was another occupant beside him and they were carrying several bottles of alcohol. <laughs> 911, what's the location of your emergency? Yeah, I just want to report something. There's two, I, I, I don't know if they're ladies or whatnot, but they're drunker than a skunk. They are coming down US-1 and ran me off the road on their golf cart, and uh, a few other people swerved over at them and stuff. Now they're at the gas station hanging out and stuff. So I, I just wanted to report it because I ain't trying to lie. I don't want them to die. I don't want nobody else to die. You know what I mean? Okay, you said they're in a golf cart? Yeah, it's like a... Like a and it's colored golf cart. Okay, and it's occupied by two ladies? No, it's two, two younger guys. Okay, are they white, black, Hispanic? They're, they're white. I pulled down the road, you know what I mean, because I don't want confrontation with them or nothing like that, you know. But they scared the crap out of me, run me off the road and stuff. You know, I'm on a motorcycle. That, that freaked me out a little bit. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we're heading uh, north on US-1, just coming up. And uh, there's a golf cart. It looks like someone stole off of the golf course. Two young boys driving with a golf club in the back. I'm not sure if they're intoxicated or what, but they're on main US-1. Uh, doing about okay, what color is the golf cart? Beige. It's really, it seems like it's from the, uh, from the uh, golf course, US Club. You have an officer that's posted up right before on the left-hand side there, heading southbound, but these kids, I'm not sure if he picked them up. An officer observed the beige golf cart driving northbound on US-1 towards him and ordered them to stop. He then contacted the golf club for information on the missing cart. Hey, it's Debbie Rogers from Rowe County Sheriff's Office. So I'm out with two right now at the six-mile marker with one of your golf carts, golf cart number 16. there. Yes. All right. Here, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you, I'm going to get their information, but I'm going to hand you over to my sergeant and just like, tell them what you want to do, and I'll go from there. The golf course? Yep. With the car, so. <laughs> no, he, he said he was just reporting them pretty much. Hey, this is Sergeant Curry, Sheriff's Office. Hey, my name is Colin Free. How you doing? All right, how's it going? Um, so obviously they're they're outside of our property and on mile marker six I was just told. Yeah, right at the the Boca Chica Key Haven Bridge, the next one up. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm gonna once we get off the phone, I'm getting gonna get in hold of, of my boss, and I'm sure we're gonna want to press charges. Or I don't know what kind of damage they've done to the golf course, to the golf cart itself. Uh, you guys got your IDs? <laughs> Look, man. They got to be drunk, right? They got to be drunk. Uh, the first caller didn't, at first, didn't know if it was a young ladies. <laughs> but then I guess he remembered and it said he, they're young men. Now, when I was young, I'd done stupid things. Okay, you guys, very stupid things. One time, I was done playing this game called Kitchen on Sega Genesis. Have you ever played that game? You know, let me know down in the comments. Could be old peoples with dinosaurs and stuff like that. But basically, the game... Uh, you were on border blades and stuff, and you like hit your opponent and stuff like that. You can also get behind cars and stuff like that. So, one of the stupid things I did was when I was young, playing with my friends, we go to like grocery stores. You can kind of say like Walmart at the time, not an actual like Walmart, but like uh, the smaller one, you know, before Kmart or and stuff like that, <laughs> uh, were the main ones. And we used to play You're It on railroad blades, and we would like push each other, and you know, what dumb kids do when they're young. Well, this one time, since it's a police officer, a police video, I got smart and I tried to do the same thing as the game. You know what I'm saying? And I went ahead and uh, tried to grab onto a car while I was on roll blades, kind of like the game, <laughs> to get ahead of the person that was trying to tag me. And when I looked up, it was a police officer's car, you guys. Yeah, that was dumb. So, of course, I got in trouble. <laughs> uh but they remind me of these guys, but I wasn't drunk. 
They just decided wanted to jump on this golf cart and go on a joy ride. <laughs> but it's it's probably their amusement or something. They thought they could get away with it or or whatever. But that's what happens, you guys, when your brain's in alcohol. All right. Don't try to do these stupid things, you guys. But what you think is cool might not be cool at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> Staying this in the, in the real world, you guys, not the alcohol world. Let's get back and see what they're gonna happen to these guys, babe. <laughs> I got my uh, social security number. It's social security. I think, I think that the uh, so you don't have no I, no form of ID. I think I think that the golf place has my ID with. Like, okay, how about this? Just go back over here. I don't want you to go. You have your ID? No, I'm my social security, but I have my ID. They have my ID. Too. Okay, are you guys all right? Yes. Yeah, I think I think. No, that what, ha what happened to you though? No, sir. I just got I just got sweaty. Do you look at your arms? Do you look at your arm and your knee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you do that? I fell on the golf course. You fell on the golf course. Yes, sir. All right. I also see trees. What's going on with the trees in the car? No, no, no sir. I don't know about any low-hanging trees. So what happened there? No, we we already we already. Yeah, you're more than welcome to give a, give a call to the golf course to see if see if we're we're, we're, we're All right. You guys have nothing with your name on there, right? No, sir. No, I got I got my social ID. I got my social security. Um, you want? Okay. Where you at the pro shop or whatever? I guess it's called. Yeah. Okay, because that's the city jurisdiction, technically. So I'll have a city officer head over there, and we'll handle okay. what occurred out here. I, I literally just okay. pulled up, so I don't even know yet. So. Gotcha. But you, right, you have this number? Are you able to write the number that just called you down? or? Like, yes, 305. Yep, I got it right here. All right, just call that back when you're done, and I'll tell the city to send someone over to you. Right. Right. Any guns, nice explosives on you? No, sir. No, sir. This is all, all right. I got. It's, it's so let my, me see. Let me see your. Let me see what my, you got there. My, 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 my Tennessee uh, distributive uh, license uh, via birth certificate, and then uh, my Florida voter's license is what it is. And then if, you I, back, if you go back there. All right. So James. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? Both the occupants were under the legal drinking age. The driver was 20 years old and looked intoxicated, while the passenger, who was only 18, had several bruises and cuts all over his body. Yeah, as far as where the golf cart came from and damage to the golf cart, that kind of yeah. What's your kind of bag? I have no clue, sir. Two, uh, let's see, twisted. You got one. How old are you? Twisted tees. How old are you? I'm 18, sir. Yes, sir. Where'd you get this from? I have no clue. No, 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 yours. No, it's not. It just magically appear right there next to your feet. Yes, sir, it says. He's 20, he's 21. That's not mine. Yeah, he's our reservation and everything. How old are you? 21. How much you had a drink? My, 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 20, my 20th birthday was April 14, 2003. I'm not, I'm almost 21. Okay, how much you had a drink? None. Okay, you're slurring your speech. You look drunk. No, I haven't had anything to drink. Sorry. To make sure you haven't been drinking, okay? You're willing to do the exercises for me? Yeah, I'll take any test. Okay. I know what, where you got the alcohol from. That's from the, the car all, lady at the golf course. This is all unopened, sir. Yeah, unopened. We haven't, we haven't opened it yet. Uh, I understand, but yes, you're both under 21. It's yes, illegal sir. to be in possession of alcoholic beverages when no, they're yes, open or closed. Absolutely, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. No, it doesn't open have to up. be open. Yeah, no, yes, The sir. mere possession of alcoholic beverages I understand. I understand. Is, a, is a crime. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. No doubt, no doubt. Can I come on here? Uh, yeah. The officer then asked the driver to perform some field sobriety tests. Following due procedures, the officer conducted the horizontal gaze nystagmus exercise. Okay, so just to make sure you're still 20 years old. Absolutely. Okay. And you had nothing to drink? No, sir. Who got those alcohol beverages in the car? Those are from our friend that was playing golf with us, uh, okay. Jeff. That's okay. all I remember his name. Okay. So he's not that good of a friend? You don't know his last name? No, I just met him today. He was uh, he was added to our, our team as a golf player. Okay. Uh, that's all I remember. Okay, I gotta ask you some medical questions, okay? Absolutely. Are you sick or injured? No, sir. Do you have any physical defects? No, sir. Okay. Do you have a glass eye? No, sir. Are you diabetic? No, sir. Are you epileptic? No, sir. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to just face me. Okay. Can you just stand in front of me? Okay. Put your feet together for me. Okay. And put your arms by your side, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Twist your ball cap backwards? Yes, sir. Okay. Just put your arms by your hand. Do you see my pen right here? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. I'm 
going to ask you to follow that pain with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? okay. Meaning do not move your head, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Speed it up. Okay, you may begin. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> look you guys i'm gonna tell you something right in this finger right here i don't know if you can see it i got a scar right let me tell you how i got this car <laughs> so when i was young i worked in cars right because my dad painted cars and stuff so i learned how to work on cars you know send them down fix dance and all this and that so i had a 1976 cadillac right and i was take, trying to take up the trims from the defender because we were going to repaint it i didn't want to tape them up i want to actually take them out to make sure the paint got uh, actually on the fender right and i needed like a, a a special type of screwdriver to like take take the trim off because in the older cars are pretty hard to take off right and well my brain was telling me now nah, you can just go ahead and do it with like a a a, a a blade knife like from the kitchen so i was trying to do it like that and, and i knew i wasn't supposed to be doing it like that okay but my brain was telling me go ahead and do it and i did it and when i when i actually pulled it off that's how my my knuckle just got cut man so yeah, i got a big big cut and i had to actually get stitches and that's why i got this scar saying that your brain can pretty much betray you man you know telling you now nah, go ahead and do it you don't need that special things but what's worse is when your brain is on alcohol. <laughs> Brain's telling this guy, you ain't drunk. You can pass his tests and just go and tell him you're not drunk, man. They can't tell. You're good. You're good to go, man. <laughs> and of course, he's, he's gone, you guys. He's gone. And the other friend pretty much just threw him on the bus. All they say, my beers, man. It's my friends. <laughs> and now this guy is telling that he, they're his other friend's beers, which he just met that day. I don't know who meets a person that same day and decides they're a friend already of him. Like... That's still a stranger in my eyes, right? Like, hey, man, we played together, but I don't know you. <laughs> Let me test you another day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe we'll be friends in the future. <laughs> in the future. But yeah, man, silly guys. And then on the free, in the highway, in the golf cart, that's so dangerous, man, for them and for other people, too. And then while they drunk, no, 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 no. This boy needs to go learn a hard lesson, okay? In the jail cell, man. I'm just saying. But uh, they're probably just going to, like, give him a ticket, let him out in the DUI, make, sign a paper. You know how it is, man. Let's get back to the video, you know. 1,009. 1,010. 1,011. 1,012. Except for the charges for that. 1,014. 1,015. 1,016. Okay, good. Okay, this one I do gonna place you in the rest of the UI, okay? Push your okay. hands behind your back. Do you have anything on you that I should be aware of? No, sir. Okay, the alcohol that is in the in the golf car. There's a wine bottle and there's a two uh Twister teas, I think it's called. Okay. Are those your friends or are those your friends? friend jeff colton the guy with the pink shirt yes sir okay he told me they were yours so who's who's lying who's telling the truth those are my friend colton's uh he got them from jeff also okay all right walk over here okay. so you have to see a judge first okay, okay? That's, that's, that's him? That's okay. That's, that's, that's his other one. How many licenses he has? That's not the real one. Is this a fake one? Yeah. He's out of Florida. So his license should be in the car. Let me just double check this before you go. We're going to see how it on. Where's this license from? 
That one's fake, sir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? It's not his, right? They're fake. No, no. That's a fake. The other guy didn't have his ID? No. Okay. Um, yeah. Or was it ham? He did have his ID. <laughs> My ex-wife used to drink that. That's just not easy to find. You have to go to like a liquor store to get that. Or CVS. The driver was transported to the detention center for a preliminary breath test. His blood alcohol content for two tests were 0 0.185 and 0 0.173, which was much higher than the legal limit of 0 0.08. And now the question that you should be told off of test your breath for the purpose of determining his alcohol. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Okay. Anything that you say can be used against you in the court of law. The male, identified as 20-year-old James, was charged with DUI, larceny, vehicle theft, criminal mischief with property damage, possession of a fake ID, and possession of alcohol while underage. YouTube thinks you'll love the video. <laughs> so we're the, now we know why the fake ID was there, you guys. Well, he, he just was right. That day he put in his brain, or at least was thinking, everything's going to be okay. And it was not. <laughs> I like. I don't know about those friends, you guys. I mean, th those two friends are like hitmen. You know what I mean? They talk to each other and stuff. But when it goes down and they got eliminate each other, they don't think twice, you guys. I don't know. Let me know what you thought about this man. And uh, yeah, that was silly of him. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button because it really helps this video and channel out. And I would really appreciate it. You want to watch another video? You can watch this one right here or this playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye.